talk, which is really from the about the Jaffna Municipal Council. And this is uh, Mr. Jair Sealand, who will talk to us about uh, a lot, you know, how the maintenance of the roads and, as you mentioned, the urban spaces in Jaffna. And he has uh, an interesting background because he has his first he was in science in Botany's chemistry and zoology. He has uh, degrees in population development, and he's also a poet and has written lots of uh, poems which are published. So uh, over to you, uh, Sujair Seelan. I'm wondering, can we hear you? Have you? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. First of all, I say my sincere thanks to the organizers uh, of this uh, webinar discussion. I'm going to give uh, my brief uh, about uh, a Japna Municipal Council. You can see that Japna Municipal Council is an only one municipal council in the Northern province. Uh, so geographically, it was divided into 27 wards. Uh, nearly one lakh of uh, population lived here. Uh, it's included nearly 40,000 households and uh, business places. We have nearly 100, uh, no, sorry, we have nearly 1,000 staffs and 27 branches in our uh, council office. Uh, now, elected council has been uh, functioning uh, since 2018, uh, March 23rd. It will function up to 2022. Uh, in our municipal council, uh, mayor is the chief executive officer and uh, council has 12, 45 elected members and our annual uh, budget nearly 1000 million rupees. I am the commissioner, uh, the commissioner is the chief administrative officer. So we have uh, carders because the we top level of the top level officers, uh, we have uh, four SLAs card. I, I mean that SLAs means Sri Lanka administrative service officers, class one officer one and class two officers two, uh, class two officer one and class three officer three. Another thing, uh, we have uh, three engineers and uh, three MOH officers and nine Ayurvedic uh, medical officers. Uh, those are the top administrators of our municipal council. So uh, we celebrated our 71st anniversary recently because uh, you okay. know that. Uh, 1949, uh, our municipal council established. So uh, we, uh, we look after our uh, all public uh, utilities here. So I will explain one by one uh, the roads. First, uh, I will I will say some things about the roads. Uh, there are three types of roads under our area. Uh, you see, you can see that uh, road development authority and road development department. Others, the rural roads, the, those are under the, our local body, the, the municipal council roads. Uh, now, uh, we already gazetted uh, 307 roads, we already gazetted, and uh, nearly 98 roads to be uh, ready to gazetted, and 100 will be gazetted in future. So, all our local roads are uh, maintained by our uh, annual uh, allocation through our budget, that this year also we allocated more than uh, uh, 20 million rupees for the, uh, the uh, road development uh, process. And other thing, we get some uh, funds from the central government uh, for the road renovation program. For example, the last year we got uh, allocation from the Gamberlia project. And this year we uh, got the allocation from the Saprigama project. Uh, then uh, the water supply, uh, we covered uh, uh, water supply all over our MC area. Our drinking water source uh, situated in the Kondavi. There was a, there is the pump stations there and uh, we get the water from the, the Kondavi pump, pump station and we have a very oldest uh, pipeline uh, through uh, of the municipal area and uh, we have a uh, big uh, tanks uh, big tanks uh, uh, situated in grunagar and uh, navandure and kolambutur areas and uh, we supply uh, through the tanks our professor said uh, there are there are there is no 
a water supply system in the municipal area, but that I don't uh, understand because uh, that, that I, I uh, for example, that uh, the Gurunagar tank, we every day we supply nearly five lakhs liter water to to the um, to throughout the uh, town uh, area. Uh, and uh, if any urgency, we use our um, uh, water bouses and uh, uh, the urgent supply, we use our uh, water bouses and uh, do some things. Uh, this is the water supply, but uh, we have some shortcomings in the water supply because uh, uh, we want to maintain our water supply lines. It's a very difficult task uh, because the, those lines are very oldest. So we expect more money because the, the, the fund is a very big problem because we uh, expect more mm -hmm. money for the for, for, for re renovate our water supply lines. Uh, then the waste collection, this is also the very uh, important thing in our municipal uh, area. Every day we, uh, we have collected uh, nearly 40 to 50 tons of solid waste. At the same time, we uh, nearly um, collected uh, 40,000 liters of sewage water because you, you can see we, we have uh, most of the toilets are the sealed pit toilets. So we collect nearly 40,000 liters sewage water every day and uh, nearly 60,000 liters waste water also we collected every day. Uh, those uh, waste water uh, we got from the, um, the uh, all restaurants and all other shops because uh, they, are, they are waste water they sent to the tanks and we get it through the our garib houses. And um, we have a problem in the, the, our solid waste management because the, our dumping site, this is not belongs to the municipal council area that is under the uh, Sangilipai Division Secretariat. So the, the place uh, we call the Kalundai, the Kalundai area, um, uh, we, uh, we have uh, make a, a dumping place. At the same time, we have uh, one recycling unit here it, uh, it is uh, situated in the municipal council area, the uh, Kakadivu. Uh, we make some recycling process there. Uh, for example, the, we, we can collect the plastics and we recycle, it, uh, we recycle the plastic and send it to the, uh, some private companies. At the same time, we have some uh, treatment plants uh, in uh, Kakadivu recycling unit. We treat the sewage water and the waste water. Uh, and after that we get the uh, balanced water for the uh, agriculture purpose. Um, uh, so this is the waste uh, management uh, handled by the, the detail of the waste management handled by the municipal council. Then we have some libraries, there are five libraries include the Japna main library also. Uh, those libraries are now going uh, very smoothly. Uh, now we introduce some uh, modern techniques uh, for improve our library activities. For example, we register register all uh, most of the books under the online uh, system, and then we registered uh, uh, all. The, uh, we 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 now save a lot of all uh, documents. So we we have a microfilm uh, machinery, and we now register through the microfilm system. So then I, uh, I say some things about our parks. We have uh, uh, five uh, important parks uh, in the Beach Park one, one second one uh, in the Subramaniam Park and third one the very uh, uh, close to the Kacheri, that is uh, we call the Kacheri Park. So those parks are now okay, but uh, we have a plan to renovate those parks through the uh, World Bank funding, that is uh, uh, strategy um, uh, city development project uh, through the World Bank funding. So uh, we uh, we already um, um, the UDA already um, made a designs for the park development, and we will uh, expect to develop those parks very soon. Uh, so then uh, the drains are there. These are this is a very uh, big issue in our municipal area because uh, the Professor Barajan also said there are no drainage system in, in Japna area, in, importantly in the municipal area, uh, till we don't have the drainage system in, 
in our MC area. We have only the storm water channels. Uh, those are not, uh, not, not, not used for the drain, uh, drainage system. So uh, again, we uh, depend on the uh, SCDB project to get some uh, ideas through the, they, they, they have some studies and they will uh, prepare the document for the drainage system and but still it's not not the implement stage as the professor also said uh, so that is a very important thing because uh, the drainage system is uh, still we are uh, on the problem uh, so uh, but every rainy season we have a, uh, we have faced lot of issues through the drainage system so we expect uh, the good drainage system as possible as soon here uh, so again, and we uh, depend on the uh, uh, projects uh, through developed our drainage system here. And uh, ponds uh, in municipal area, there are 43 ponds here. Uh, still, uh, those are not renovated. But uh, through the World Bank project, I already said uh, that SCDP project, we identified two ponds for the renovate as a pilot project. So we uh, we want uh, some um, what is that uh, uh, some uh, decision after the renovation only we will see the balance uh, uh, on renovation but still we don't have a funds for uh, renovate our uh, all uh, funds so these are these are the the main things but in our municipal council. Uh, do a lot of works uh, at the same time uh, because uh, we uh, collect tax every day and uh, we give the building approvals and maintain our area shops and uh, we provide the fire service and the local electricity supply and a very good health service because we have a, a separate MOH division there are three doctors works there working there and uh, so it is a uh, the ultimately uh, we look after our uh, local uh, public uh, needs uh, uh, in our best level best uh, but uh, still we have some issues here uh, because the, our now the electrical elect, uh, electoral uh, council now functioning so we uh, we did it. those are the political body we are the administrators uh, so we we have a, a good coordination with them and uh, but uh, some problems will arise uh, uh, the frequently uh, uh, but uh, definitely we will do uh, uh, our best and uh, we uh, will give the good service to the uh, our uh, area people so uh, this is the very good opportunity to give my uh, very brief uh, details to the, about our MC. Uh, after that, uh, in any question, I will answer later. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Jaisilan, for that introduction. And I think it must be quite challenging to uh, to try and do all these changes which need to be done, uh, and. Yeah. So for funds and uh, all the, the challenges that you face. Thank you for your work. Thank you. I think Thank you. The next um, a few talks are really, I mean, we've heard about the issues of development. We've heard issues around uh, the environmental monitoring. So actually the next thing really is how do we monitor all these, uh, the environment? How do we test? How do we check? Because obviously you might can think of changes that you need to make, but you need to have processes in place to actually monitor uh, what's actually happening on the ground. So the next few talks will be exactly about that. We start off with uh, Dr. Garmini Ratnayaka, who's a chief chemist at the Colombo Municipal Council, and that being the largest municipal council in the country. So he has a PhD in science and technology, and he actually, I'm just reading through, uh, he's on a lot of committees to do with uh, this is to do with the Environmental Justice Committee, uh, the Register of Pesticides. Uh, there's a range of things, all these things which affect both our environment and also the food we eat. 
And so this topic is food testing and public health in the context of urban development. Thank you, Ms. Dr. Rajanayaga. I hope, uh, can you hear us? And yeah. Can I yeah. see, am I? Of course. Uh, Uh, can you see this uh, slides? Not at the moment. I think uh, okay. I yeah. the share screen at the bottom. Or you can ask uh, Yoga Varadhan will be able to do it if, if you're having any technical difficulty. Uh, can I share it? Because uh, in my screen, the presenter is there. So mm -hmm. how can I? Yeah, I, I uh, no, I think. If you want, if you can press the share screen on the bottom. Share screen. Right. The middle bottom. Uh, if you scroll down yeah, at the bottom of the screen. Some here. Oh. I think maybe it's better that I share your uh, presentation. Huh? Can you see this line which says mute 